Hey, hi guys. So in the previous session, we talked about the Citrix uh, VDI components. Uh, in this session, we'll talk about the flow. So let me go to the next slide. So in this, uh, uh, I'm just talking about the flow right now. Uh, in that, uh, I have just divided this flow in three different stages, uh, the user login, uh, VDI access and VDI launch. Okay, so uh, we'll start with the uh, user login. Okay, so what happened in the user login? So in the user login, uh, the user will connect to the NetScaler initially, right? NetScaler will provide him the waveform to login. So user put the credential into the uh, into that waveform. So then uh, once the user put a credential, then NetScaler it send a request to Active Directory, okay, uh, to check the whether user is uh, properly validated or not, okay. So once uh, the user get validated uh, in uh, from the Active Directory, uh, then uh, this info shared with the storefront. Now the storefront uh, wanted to know uh, what desktop and application user has access. Uh, so he checked with delivery controller on that. So uh, so now in that in this stage, uh, delivery controller again reached to the uh, Active Directory to check the uh, group membership of the user. Okay, and then uh, after that, delivery controller again go back to SQL Server, and uh, it get the uh, all the information of the user, what uh, access user has, right? And then uh, that all the all the information what he, uh, what he got or what it got from the SQL Server, it store the information into XML format, okay? And give it to a uh, storefront. So storefront read the information and then uh, publish the uh, desktop to the user. So this is happened into the user login stage. Now what next? Okay, now user click on the desktop. So when you click on the desktop, again, request go to the storefront via NetScaler. In that case, again, uh, the next storefront asks the delivery controller where the uh, desktop is hosted, right? So the delivery controller already have this information that where the desktop is hosted, okay? So desktop is hosted into hypervisor in our case, right? So then the delivery controller uh, create one ticket. So the ticket contains the information uh, like ticket number, the IP address, and other information of, about that particular desktop. Okay, so uh, this ticket number, uh, delivery controller share with the storefront. So storefront read the ticket number and check the other information, uh, but, and then uh, uh, storefront do, don't provide the IP address to the user directly, but it, it creates an ICF file and give it to the user. So when user click onto that desktop, then one ICF file get downloaded automatically. Okay, and then now the next part here is about VDI launch. So when a user uh, click click or uh, click or open the ICF file, right? In that stage, again request goes to a NetScaler. This time NetScaler don't send this information to storefront. Okay, so NetScaler what it does it talk with the delivery controller. Okay, whether uh, whether we can provide access to the user because he is ready to access the desktop. Now, delivery controller again check the ticket in his memory, whether this uh, what information what he stored earlier, right? He, he check with that information, okay? And if the information matches in that stage, the delivery controller open the ticket and give the IP to NetScaler. And using so, NetScaler will create a session uh, based on the IP address assigned to the user, okay? In that session, when session get established or getting established at that point of time, a delivery controller again will go to the license server and check with the license server whether that user has a correct license assigned to it or not. Okay, and uh, as well as uh, delivery controller also uh, uh, apply the session policies. Okay, in the communication, so that is very important part. Okay, so so by by doing by following these three stages, user get access to the desktop. Okay, I hope you got to know now. How to how user get access to the Citrix VDI? If you have any question, any comment, uh, please let me know. I will help you to answer your all the queries.